I started this video back in September of this year, and here we are now into December. But it's been a long journey with the trees that fell in the August storm. I thought I would share with you the story of this hickory tree that fell. Besides the tree falling, I've decided to have the tree milled to repair my own house with the wood from the land. So here is the story. So here I am on yet another fallen tree with a helper. This is Wilbur. Uh, this is a hickory. It is ginormous. It is a huge, huge, huge tree. And I'm working on getting all the limbs up, getting it cut back to the trunk, because I'd like to have this tree milled. Um, we just lost so many trees in that one storm. It's pretty unbelievable. The root system of this tree is straight up in the air and is about seven feet tall. We're guesstimating this tree is about 75 feet tall. Uh, it's just huge. So it's so sad that we lost so many trees in one storm. But I'm going to make use of every single piece of it as much as humanly possible. I'm collecting the nuts. I'll figure out what to do with those. Saving a lot of the wood for firewood. And then, like I said, going to have the main trunk milled. All this work on these trees and the house have kept me from doing as much in the garden this time of year as I normally would. So I'm feeling a little disjointed not being able to be out in the vegetable garden, but um, the season has just near finished anyway. So I just kind of quickly walk past all the things that I should be doing and doing the things that I really have to do. Anyway, I As you can see, I have spent a considerable amount of time taking the bulk off of this side of the tree. There's a building on the other side that's been difficult to get to, but I think I'm going to leave the rest of it for the professional tree cutters who are going to come and cut it into long lengths. Uh, I need to be safe about it. I did as much as I could, and I think they'll just go ahead and finish it up. It's fascinating to watch the professionals go ahead and finish up this tree. I'm always intrigued at how good they are. So here's a little bit of it. I ended up with three eight and a half foot long pieces, one ten and a half foot, and one of the other eight foot pieces got accidentally cut in half, so I have two four foot pieces. Plenty of lumber to go all the way around my house. Next, I had the sawmill guy come, the Delmont Sawmill in Delmont, New Jersey, and I was very impressed at his old truck but he still managed to pick up those huge pieces of tree and put them on his truck to take them away from milling. 